Hello, good evening. Welcome to the Active Rachel Ann channel. And I also like to do Aldi hauls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This last week at Aldi, I was not too... Last week was good. There was a couple items I liked. This week, the ad came out. I wasn't too impressed. There's a couple items that I found. I'll share those with you. First, we're going to start with the non-grocery items. Then we'll go to the um, grocery items and um, kind of explain a little bit with you. I'm not going to provide pricing on all items, just things that I can remember off the top of my head. Also, it's late at night. It's been a very busy week. Work has been excruciatingly busy, both my job during the day, my job at night. So I'm finding a moment in my evening where nobody's home and I can sit in the bathroom and bring to you this great video. So without further ado, let's start the haul. Okay, first things first. There's other people on here on Instagram that are what they call blanket hoarders. And I love a good cozy blanket, especially in the winter being here in central Wisconsin, but I can't say that I'm a hoarder. I think it's an essential item, especially depending on how many people are in your house and how much you want to feel cozy and comfortable. So everybody should have a blanket. That's what I say in the winter, especially below zero temperatures. So Aldi had these really cute cozy throws that um, came in different colors, um, like Serpa and, and Cable Knit. And so I found this one for $17.99. I know it's kind of pricey, but it is a beautiful, thick, fancy blanket and it's red. So it might not be coming and showing up here because I've got bright yellow lights here in my bathroom, but it is red. It's not fuchsia or magenta or any other color. It is red. So it's your true red that you would see a Santa Claus wear. So just imagine that when you look at this, but it's so cozy and it's going to be so lovely. And my husband already tried to open this up and I said, don't touch it until I do my haul video. So <laughs> he, he was not happy about that. <laughs> He used a different blanket though. Secondly, I bought these cute little, um, there's the, the booty slippers. Oh my goodness, look how cute those are. So um, I bought a size 9, 10. I'm actually like a size 7, 8, but they didn't have my size. And I'm glad I bought the 9, 10 because they seem to run a little bit lower in sizing. So they they you should size down is what I'm trying to say. Anyways, this is what it ended up looking like. It's cute. I love that little plaid look and my little plaid um, reindeer. How cute. They are so cozy. And um, it'll be good for me because I wear thicker socks in the winter plus slippers. So I'll be okay. The next item I bought was for my Instapot. Now, um... I don't have like, I had the Crock-Pot Instapot. I don't have the Instapot name brand Instant Pot. So um, I don't have a lot of the accessories that go inside of it. Um, but every time I try to make like a meat or a vegetable, then like they all have to hang out together on the same level. And I don't have like a little trivet or anything to go in the middle. So I bought this from Aldi. It's from the Crofton brand. And it's the pressure cooker sling. So these arms actually come up and hang out on the side of the pressure cooker. So you can keep your vegetables or meat at any different level away from the other food you're cooking inside the pot. So that's really cool. Silicone. Can't wait to use it. The next non-grocery item is a door seal. So this goes right under the door um, and it helps to block out the draft. And again, this is another essential item up here in the Arctic North. So uh, I was really excited when I saw it. I think it was $6.99 for this item and we definitely will use it. I actually could have bought more than one, <laughs> but I didn't. The last item was a candle. I saw on Instagram, somebody was saying that there's candles but that they were located down the baby food aisle slash um, non-grocery aisle, but not like the aisle of shame, quote unquote, but the aisle where there's like paper towels and dish soap and dishwashing detergent. So it was down that aisle. 
And they had a whole bunch, a big tray of candles. I was like, whoa. So there was like, I think a gardenia smell, a vanilla smell, and then this was the holiday cranberry smell. Mmm, it smells so good. My cranberries. I can't wait to light that for wintertime. P.S. Remember the last haul that I had and it was the Halloween candle and it was just like that plastic wrap on the outside of the candle and I said I wasn't going to light it until closer to Halloween? Well, <clears throat> I lit that officially a couple days ago and it's quite potent and strong but it smells good. Perfect, perfect smell for these Halloween pre-days. Okay, moving on to grocery items. I bought just some queso. I bought queso to go with the roundy tortilla chips. It's a good combo, right? I know. Then I bought two cans of the fried apples with cinnamon. Does that not look tasty? I could make a really good apple pie, I think, with this apple pie filling. But it says it's fried apples. I wonder if it tastes different. If you guys have used this, let me know. It's 75 calories per serving. There's three servings in here. That's a total of 240 calories if you use the whole container. Then, because I love my crock pot so much, I bought a one pot sauce. It's called beef stroganoff. And if you follow me, me on Instagram, you'll know that <laughs> I made an entire crock pot of beef stroganoff and I totally ruined it because I thought I could skip quarters and I was just trying to help my husband out and then it just was a big failure and that was a lot of sirloin beef that I wasted. Anyways, next time I make beef stroganoff, I'll be using this. That'll be tasty. Let me know if you guys have tried it, if you like it or not. So uh, this week I picked up the lettuce cut taquito flavored kettle chips. Taquitos, yes. That sounds so tasty. 140 calories for one ounce, which is approximately 13 chips. And it just looks really good. I've got my tried and true green pea crisps. Mmm, these are my faves. I could eat them all day and all night. And then my last item, cinnamon churros. This was on my last haul. These, 100%, grade A, number one. Yeah, they really taste good. You guys gotta try these. Um, this was 99 cents for this bag. It's on the smaller side, so I, I appreciate the dollar price tag. 120 calories for a one ounce serving. And again, there's only three servings in this whole bag. So that's, that's pretty good. I think it's pretty good calories per serving. And they're light and airy. So there you have it. That's my haul. La, 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 la. I'm so thankful that you guys showed up and that you are watching this with me. And um, next time when I do my haul, I'll do it during the day when I have some beautiful sunshine. All right, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. If you aren't subscribed, click that subscribe button. If you aren't able to, let me just flip it. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell if you wanna know when the next beautiful haul video is that I'm gonna bring you. And stay tuned because my weigh-in video will be coming up mm, tomorrow or the next day. All right, talk to you later. Bye.